Keith Hill, I'm a senior product designer with uh, Arc'teryx Equipment, and I'm here with BackcountrySkiCanada.com talking about our new Voltaire Avalanche Pack. And this pack is unique in many ways. For one, it is a full AC squared backpack. The objective was to make a really great backcountry ski pack that also just happened to have a balloon pop out of its head, so that it's always going to be your go-to bag. You're not going to choose not to carry it. All of our, in two sizes, we carry, it has um, all the features you expect in a backcountry ski pack. So in the 20 liter, it has a, a dedicated sleeve in the, the main compartment for um, shovel and pro saw. In the 30 liter pack, it's a separate pocket. And then from there, we start getting into things that are unique to avalanche packs. And we only have two sizes, 28 and a half. With avalanche packs, you need to stay attached to them. So as inverse segregation is happening and you're floating, to the surface, you need to stay attached to the pack. Our leg loop is one handed, simple, and fast. So there's no excuse for not being attached to it. Simple in, simple out, just like a like a, an, ice, an ice screw clipper on that you'd use on your harness. Then to activate the balloon, just reach inside, and you can see the the battery. Turn it on. You get a little self-checked whir, and then you get indicator lights that tell you the condition of the battery, the charge. That little whir you hear is actually the system do a full system check to tell you that everything, every component is functioning correctly. Also, after you've turned it on, there's an exterior indicator light which is telling you, this is basically your go-no-go. No go. If Even though, if it's flashing red, the system defaults to make sure that the balloon actually fills up. So if it's just got its last gasp of energy, the balloon will still fill. The other thing is the trigger, how you get this thing out. So it is a unique shape, so when you reach across to, to activate it, there's no mystery. It's not something that's small where you might mistake that you're grabbing your shoulder strap. Large, always exposed, don't have to worry about for getting to unzip it from its little pocket. X, it's mechanically locked. Green, you're good to go. And it, even if you forget, it only takes about 20 degrees of twist to pull it free. This amount of travel is just to prevent accidental inflation. It's that next pull that releases the latch. And again, this is just mechanical. So the, this most vulnerable location is as robust as we can make it. We don't put electronics all the way out in this you know, relatively vulnerable location. So when you pull it, it pops the latch, and it actually has a little uh, uh, lever that pushes the latch open. So if you yank hard, even if you get a block of ice in there, it'll push the latch open, and then the blower starts to go, and the balloon inflates. Uh, the cycle, we'll, we'll pop this off, um, it goes for seven seconds. The balloon will inflate in under five seconds at 30 below, and then it pauses for five seconds, and then we'll do a one second pulse for the next minute. And the idea on that is if you happen to get flushed through the trees and pop a hole in this, it will continue to inflate to, you know, again, make you the, the biggest particle in the snowpack. Snow so, you put it on as you would any other pack. Sternum strap on. Hip belt. Yeah, put the waist belt on. It's, you know, it's like a pro, uh, like a beacon. You get out of the car, you turn your pack on, you put your pack, you turn the battery on, you put your pack on, you put the leg loop on, and you're committed for the day. So we're ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This will keep going for a minute, so I'm going to turn it off so we don't go deaf. Okay. So, what is the key point about a battery powered avalanche pack? People talk about you can practice.
So you can practice with this, and you should. But just the motion of pulling the trigger, you'll get that in the first you know, two or three times. And you should definitely do it while skiing. But more importantly is you need to condition yourself not to hesitate. With the canister balloon packs, it's one shot. So people will talk about going, okay, I'm waiting. Is this it? Is this it? Is this the moment? That's exactly wrong. You want to have the impulse of going, oh shit, pull it. Oh, Bob farted, pull it. Oh my god, it's Tuesday, pull it. You want to be conditioned that when you feel like it is a dangerous situation, you pop the balloon, and if it's not the right time, your friends laugh at you. Two minutes later, it's packed up, and you're ready to go again. But you didn't hesitate.